and he said let there be light and there was this is my relatively untidy garage and it's illuminated by four of these five foot fluorescent tubes uh, two at the side and two at the back and that one there I've just replaced with an LED one so it's not fluorescent it's LED so we're going to look at how to do it what's required and what the difference is all right let's just have a look at the packaging so it is a T8 it's 22 watt now it says there's a 90 percent energy saving that's a 90 percent energy saving oops that's a 90 percent energy saving over 177 watt incandescent bulb obviously what i'm replacing uh is a fluorescent bulb which is 58 watts so not a huge saving but uh basically we're, we're only going to be spending a third on the lighting which which makes a big difference and what it's saying is that for every one watt you get basically a hundred luminaire or, or lm uh, and so what we're going to be at is 20 or 2200 luminaire and there's some other specification on there just move it along so it's an A plus rating, some information on there and some more information. And it says that the lighting is uh, 6000 K, so that's, the, that's the, the color of it. So it's a white light, not a yellow light, don't like yellow lights. That's the other thing that you get with a fluorescent, a yellow light. All right, we've got a couple of types of bulbs. We've got a Polylux one and we've got ring ones. Both uh, types are 58 watts. And as you can see, they've been in use for quite a while. Uh, so the T8s, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is the first LED one that I've put up. Now there's a big difference between the two of them to start off with. And one of them is actually starting time. Right, so I've closed the garage door partially just so that we can see the light better and, uh, and now we'll see the light switch on. Right, so the first thing that we should see when I turn it on is that it illuminates immediately. Yeah, there you go. Off, on, off, on. Now I'll flip the camera around and we'll have a look at the, um, at the fluorescent one. Right, so I'll have to raise my voice a bit because I'm over here now at the light switch. But when I switch on, the first thing that you should see is it doesn't illuminate immediately. There's a pause, then there's a flicker, then it comes on. The second thing that you won't see because we're not going to have the camera on it long enough is all fluorescence, whether it's one of these tubes or whether it's one of the compact fluorescent bulbs, which I did have all over the house, but I've replaced them with LEDs purely and simply for this reason. Not only do they give off a yellow light, but they start dimly and as they warm up they get brighter and it's only when they're fully warm that they get to the to the peak brightness so let's just have a look when i switch it on see it flicker and then it comes on the led over there was on immediately so we'll do this again switched off switch it on and it's on now as i said that's that's it's not dim but it's not as bright as it will be. It has to warm up over a period of time. Last time. There you go. As it warms up, it gets quicker at coming on, but obviously when you're coming into a room, it's not going to be warm, or when you're coming into the garage, it's not going to be warm because it's not been on, and that's all purpose of putting the light on. As with all tubes, they're easy to take out. You best return them. And they should drop out through the slit on either side. I'll just pop that there. This is the LED one. Something to take into account is it's basically a strip of LED lights that run across the top. So when you when you're turning it, you want to make sure that those LEDs are at the top, otherwise it's shining upwards. So let me just uh, just make sure that it's. That's in there, that's in there, twist it, right, obviously it's in place, flexible, not like the glass ones, that's not going to shatter. The one thing that I would say is, don't make the mistake that I made, um, I've had these lying around for ages, 
and when you try lighting them if you've got the standard fluorescent starter in it doesn't work um, they actually came supplied separately with uh, a, a one amp starter which I'll get and install now uh, here's the starter that I took out of the fluorescent now from memory I can't remember it's something like a 50 watt to, to something or other I can't remember but that will not power um, or that will not start one of these LED ones categorically you need this chappy and that's the information on there so it's a one amp one 250 volt starter let's see if we can just get it in focus there we go one amp 250 volt starter and that is how you get these LED strips to actually work all right so having taken the old one out just put the new one in there you go as easy as that get rid of the old tube and we'll just switch it on and hey presto on off immediate on off right let's get the other two done so we've got that one done got that one done now we're just going to replace the two at the back and he said let there be light and there was now you saw it it was immediate it came on and we've got now four of these LED fluorescent tube replacements. They're not going to smash because they're made out of plastic. They're a white light. They come on immediately. They don't have to warm up to the full brightness. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the are the old tubes. I'm going to keep those and the starters just as backups if anything happens. But for a few minutes work and a few pound we've now got a saving of two-thirds electricity so if i do leave these on by mistake overnight um it's not going to cost me as much anymore so great do